Love Island 2018, Hayley Hughes speaks out on that video which left Danny Dyer in tears. Love Island 2018 hit the headlines earlier this week, after Ofcom received thousands of complaints after contestant Danny Dyer was shown a misleading video. Now, former Islander Hayley Hughes has shared her thoughts about the episode. Many Love Island 2018 viewers were clearly left unhappy on Sunday night, after Ofcom received a total of 2,525 complaints within 24 hours, which were in relation to a video shown to Danny during the episode. The clip showed Danny's boyfriend Jack Fincham reacting to a former flame Ellie Jones arriving in the villa he was staying in. The barmaid, who was staying in a different villa to her beau at the time, burst into tears after seeing the footage. Now, Danny's former Love Island co-star Haley has given her opinion about the episode, during an exclusive interview with Express.go.uk. Speaking at the William Hill Arms pub, she said, The video didn't really give much, away, but I really understand where Danny's coming from because obviously she's missing Jack loads. It's not a nice thought knowing that your boyfriend is in a villa with his ex. You just don't know what can happen, and sometimes you don't have the thought about what the lad's capable of, it's what the girl's capable of. Express.co.uk went on to quiz Haley about what she thought about Love Island showing the misleading video to Danny, after show bosses hadn't explained that the 26-year-old hadn't pursued his ex romantically since her debut in Love Island. But that's part of, if, when you become the winner of the show, they want to know why you're the winner of the show, that you can get through these challenges together as a couple. A spokesperson for Ofcom said at the time, at this stage there has been complaints from last night's Love Island specifically relating to Danny being show the video of Jack. Speaking to the son at the Harry Potter quiz at Warner Brothers Studio Tour London on Tuesday, the star explained he had been writing about his experience. I've started writing a book actually about what I've been through and my experience, he said. I want to put out a positive message and if I can help one person who has been in the same position as me then that's great. I hope that people can embrace themselves more, and once you've embraced yourself you can cope better.